Am I gonna be buying Disney stock? No, ladies, gentlemen, I recently made a video on why I'm not a fan of Disney stock, and a lot of you did not like my opinions. It gave me some hate, but today we're gonna further solidify, even with all the great news from streaming pushing the stock into all time highs, the amazing earnings, it still isn't gonna help me out of my financial independence retire early journey, and here's why. Let's jump right into this. Welcome back, my passive income investors. I like to a follow-up video on why I wasn't the biggest fan of Disney, why I'm not buying it. And today I'm further just gonna solidify my opinions because if you are looking for a fire journey, financial independence, retire early, and you're looking to build passive income sources, well, you're gonna have to pay attention to two things. That's dividend, dividend growth, along with stock and equity growth in that stock so the company's going up and building it over time. So let's take a look at these two companies. So here we have Disney, the beloved growth growth company that's currently coming back with a vengeance and we have Microsoft guys and I just want to show you the differences between these two companies and in my last video I said I would rather own a Microsoft than a Disney now Disney just came out with a streaming service which kind of crashed the entire system because there were so many people signing up to it which I think is an absolutely incredible growth vector for this company but they're still heavily relying on all of their content and their future content and we know some of their content like star wars just hasn't been doing that well but we're not going to focus on that because you know it, that's your own personal opinions on why you might like or hate the company but for passive income we're strictly going to look at what the company's done over the last five years so if you were holding on to this company for five years the dividend yield has gone from a sloppy 66 cents to 88 cents and this by the way is semi-annually so it's not really good for collecting any decent source of income now if we compare it to something like a microsoft over five years we've had a rate of return of 198 percent and we've had a dividend yield that went from 0.28 cents to 0.51 which is which is a much bigger chunk of a dividend increase and by the way microsoft starts already by paying a higher dividend yield than disney and my yield on cost for microsoft i think i'm getting right around a two percent dividend that is growing exponentially and on top of that my share price for microsoft was right around a hundred dollars so i'm really not complaining and i'm not trying to be biased because i own microsoft i'm just trying to compare these two to show you the growth rates in different companies because i need money i can spend today and luckily microsoft pays a quarterly dividend whereas disney like i said only pays that semi-annually so if you're trying to look for passive income and build a portfolio that you're going to be able to live off of well you're really going to be heavy focused on dividends and disney just hasn't been that reliable and it's been fairly choppy over the last five years so when it comes to that aspect of disney it's already kind of a red flag for me personally now a lot of people that are looking for that fast-paced growth or maybe don't plan on holding it for very long might be trying to play these day trends but honestly most of the passive income community people looking for dividends there's just so many better options out there including apple microsoft even the sin stocks right now i think are much more appealing than disney is now when this hype dies out disney's gonna have to keep proving themselves to even keep the stock price where it is because you got to remember the stock rallied on news of the streaming service coming out and that streaming service finally came out well now they have to prove what they've done and if they do not prove it the stock price could be very volatile in the near future so do keep that in mind now with Microsoft, you have a few major growth factors that are fairly understandable and reliable. And we're talking about cloud computing. We're talking gaming, the industries right now that are blowing Microsoft up into all time highs. And it's proven that Microsoft can still be a growth company to compete with Apple. And actually Microsoft hit all time highs, pushing it into the number one largest company on the S&P 500. And with that guys, when you're looking at those top 10 companies on the S&P 500, they've seemed to fairly well outperform a lot of the market. Mind you, there are some exceptions especially when we're looking at companies like Johnson and Johnson that have been relatively flat but also sit on the top 10 but when it comes to those dividend yields guys I know I'm going to be getting a sustainable predictable reliable growth company when it comes to Microsoft I get great equity growth I get great dividend growth so in the next five years I can expect my dividend to probably get somewhere close to rising up 70 or 80 percent as it has done in the past and with that in mind I mean compare it to your Disney holding guys a lot of people buy Disney like PPC and there's a lot of people out there that buy it for their kids because when you are specifically looking to retire early 
that is the game behind this channel. I'm documenting my retirement basically day by day. And when I do that, guys, I also look at the stocks the same way. Are those companies going to be able to continue getting me closer and closer to my retirement at an excelled rate so I don't have to retire when I'm 60 years old? Now, if you have a long-term perspective in mind and you don't plan on doing much for the next 20 or 30 years with your investments, sure, Disney might be a great stock to buy, and I have absolutely nothing against that. I'm not trying to make you hate on me because of uh, my opinions on Disney stock. I just want you to understand that a lot of what's going on in Disney right now is extremely extremely speculative and Disney is based off speculation because they make content that hopefully is going to sell the major parts of their income have to do with the theme parks along with all of their massive exposure to uh, basically entertainment guys and these entertainment things have cycles to them they're kind of cyclical and especially when people get a little bit more broke or a little more strung up they're not going to Disney's parks as much and like I re-mentioned in my last video guys is that I would rather own a company that gets to deal with what people are using as platforms rather than the content they are experiencing on those platforms because a lot of people use Windows for a lot of variant things and it has a consistent and really good track record for growth and I like being able to know that because it gives me a little bit more comfortability when I'm sleeping. But when you're buying Disney stock right now, guys, you're buying it on this hype. There's so much hype around this streaming service and you have to understand that that is very speculative and it could lead to really great returns in the short term. But if you're going to plan on capitalizing on those short term gains, well, basically you need to plan on holding it for the next couple of years, few years without collecting a dividend, guys. So you're not even like focused on the dividend aspect of it. And if I'm going to take speculation, well, I'd rather take the speculative aspect out of it and go and put it into a company like Tesla, where there's a chance that it could quadruple my money in five or 10 years. But if I were to choose options here, guys, and this is just my opinion, I'm not a financial advisor. I would still rather, if I'm going to go speculative, I just think there's better speculative growth stocks for shorter term plays than Disney. And I also think for dividend and financial independence retirement, early there are just much better companies like microsoft out there that you could be purchasing so let me know what you think in the comments section below about my opinions because i know a lot of you own disney stock a lot of you are fans of it and i love to know why you own it what your opinions are on it so stay cool stay awesome guys slap that like button and i look forward to chatting you real soon